Now, are you buying that they have a, quote, great relationship? Hell no. I can't trust anything Brady says when he says about his head coach because for years and years and years, he said he had a great relationship with Coach Belichick, and we know that not to be true. And so, Skip, we've heard him gush, oh, how fortunate he is to play for Coach Belichick all the while, all the while basically, like, seething at some of the things that this man has tried to do to him. We heard him even when they had the uh, the, the 100th anniversary team in their own stage, and they're gushing about what a privilege it is to coach Tom Brady and what a privilege it is. And all the while, Coach Belichick knows he's trying to get rid of Tom Brady. All the while, Tom Brady knows Coach Belichick is trying to get rid of him. After he tried to with Jimmy Garoppolo, and Tom Brady had to go upstairs and talk to Mr. Kraft because Coach Belichick was going to move on from Tom Brady. So this notion that Tom Brady all of a sudden, and after this man has publicly criticized you, from day one, Skip, the first, after the first game, I don't know what happened because he made all those throws in practice. Oh, I don't know what's going on. He never missed a read in practice. And all of a sudden, you got a great relationship when nobody has ever called you out like this publicly. No. Nope. Your head coach is calling you out this like this, and you say you got a great relationship. No, we, we, we know that's not true, Skip. We know he does not have a great relationship. And I, he's probably, if, like you said, Skip Baylor, put him on true, true serum, and he's probably thinking to himself, I don't know the hell all this hoopla is about. What if this, this offensive guru and this quarterback whisperer yeah. Who is he? Yeah, I'm like... What's I've he had, ever done? I've had position coaches that's never going to be a head coach that's better than what this guy is. I agree. That's what he's thinking. That's what he's so thinking. So for Tom Brady to say this, I, 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 do, I don't believe it. Neither do I. I believe everything you just said. And yet, my takeaway from this is, if you step back, nothing speaks to Tom Brady's greatness more than this quote. I have a great relationship with Bruce Aarons. <laughs> he later said to Jim Gray, and, and he kind of lets his hair down for Jim a little bit. Right. He'll, he'll be a little more honest with him, but he says, that's never been my style. Well, it just hasn't. Right. He's not going to go at it publicly right. with his new head coach. And I loved what he said later in this interview. He said, I don't think I've ever thought, man, this is a problem about anything that's ever happened to him in pro football mm -hmm. or college football, for that matter. I think you try to critically evaluate how you have performed, how, he says, how you think you can help the team better in a more detailed way, and then you've got to go put in the work. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are words to live by for every young player out mm -hmm. there because he can't, he can't erase Bruce Arians right now. He's got, not going to go in and demand that he's fired right, right. now you got to figure it out on the fly. And it's really up to you because Bruce is not going to be on the field when they come back after their bye week <laughs> right. against Minnesota. Correct. He's not going to be able to do anything. He's not going to be able to help you at all when it's time to right. play the football game. So you better figure out your ways to fight through it, to figure it out, and get better. So he's saying, basically to me, I've got to win in spite of him. That, that was his mantra with Bill Belichick. He never loved it. He never loved getting criticized right. privately in front of the team by right. Bill Belichick. Of course not. Scathingly, because you wouldn't have loved no, it either. No, nobody. It, 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 well, I don't, no, you don't. No. You, you, don't, you don't like you being criticized like because, because the fact, that, Go ahead. To, to me, that, that hurts even more than public yes. criticism because it's in front of the people that you, right. you respect the most. Yes. Your brothers that you're living with. Correct. And, and he's calling you out and belittling you and, and trying to humble you and make you small in front of the mm -hmm. team. Okay. He lived with that for, for 20 years and he occasionally had to rise above it and win in spite of it. Correct. So to me, Brady is the ultimate win in spite of superstar. He is a coach's dream because he's not going to fight back there. He'll fight back on the field. Right. He goes psycho Tom on the field. He will compete, mm -hmm. but he will not compete with his head coach. And I agree with you that he did at one point, was it 2017? He had no choice because it was about to be do or die right. for him in New England. And I don't know if he went upstairs or just went after practice over to Mr. Kraft's house. Right. But he went and knocked on that door and said, <laughs> hey, I just want you to understand what's about to happen here. So it's going to be him or me. Right. And he had to do that because it was either I'm going to be in New England or I'm not going to be here anymore. So, so, so was the relationship, the great relationship, because Skip, remember, they released that statement. 
before the Jacksonville game. Oh, none of that. That's just, you know, tabloid fodder and everything. We have a great relationship here, knowing all the while that wasn't the case. Somebody tries to get rid of you, Skip. Yeah. You're not going to have no you, you're not gonna have no great relationship. No. And, and to Jim Gray, I keep bringing this up, he did a conference out here in Santa Monica right. after they lost the Super Bowl to Philadelphia, 41-33. to 33. And he was asked if the – he said, do, do the head coach and the owner show you the appropriate gratitude? And Tom said, I plead the fifth. Right. That was the closest he ever got to a public – criticism of Bill Belichick and just you could throw in Robert well I Kraft. think Mr. Kraft had his back to the umpteenth degree uh, but I think at this last time uh, um, Mr. Kraft stood down and says okay Bill it's going to be your call but eventually still uh, uh, once he found out that Tampa had offered him what they'd offer the uh, Patriots were willing to match that skip yeah okay. they were willing to match it they, but Tom was were. like I, I agree good. he I'm, had I'm, enough I'm, from I'm this good. guy and remember he had had to win in spite of a receiving core in New England that, that eroded by the year. It just got less and less until finally they were dead last in separation a year ago. Mm -hmm. And you know the tight ends, you can't even remember who they were. Right. And some of them, the no names are still there, starting with Ryan Izzo. And yet the point was where I, I couldn't get you to give Brady any credit. He, he almost won in spite of that receiving core. He, he, in that final game against Miami, the final home game, he drove his team against a Miami defense that was getting better because they had upset Philadelphia, mm -hmm. remember, and had yeah. pulled off a couple of big wins late yep. in the year. Yep. He drove his team, as he always does in the fourth quarter, for what looked like the game-winning touchdown. And then Belichick's defense, which the, the wheels were just coming off all the way for the last eight games, mm -hmm. they let Ryan Fitzpatrick go 83 yards in 13 plays, including a last-second five-yard touchdown pass to Gusecki that beat them at home and cost them the two seed. So he, in spite of the receiving core, in spite of his disintegrating relationship with Bill Belichick, he still got that team almost to the two seed. Well, I give him credit for that. You give him none. But Skip, <clears throat> also, and, and no, I, I, I mean, it's, it, it's difficult. We see that some of the issues that Cam is having up there. I mean, you do need weapons. And, and Brady says, basically, I'm getting out of here. I'm going not only where there's nicer weather, but there's nicer receivers also, Skip. But I think the thing is, Skip, is that we have a perception of what we see. It's like any, anything. I'm over here and I'm looking at guys like, man, that guy can really play. Man, that guy can really do that. And then you get said player. You're like, well, hold on. I saw you make that throw all the time over there. I saw you do this all the time over here. Why you can't do this right now? And, and, and Skip, basically, Bruce Aaron is saying that. He said, well, I mean, he never missed those throws. I've never seen Tom Brady miss a throw. I've never seen Tom Brady miss a read. And guys are open. Skip, when you last time you heard a, 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 a head coach say, well, guys are open, we're just missing them. At never, ever, ever. Especially a guy like that. I mean, that, ain't, that is not something, you know, you say that about, you know, with somebody less a tier quarterback. Okay, I get that. But you're talking about the creme de la creme of quarterbacks. And you're so outwardly and openly critical of his play. And it smacks of, don't look at me. Don't blame me. So I agree with you. I believe Tom Brady agrees with every point you just made, <laughs> yeah. but he is not going to voice no. this publicly because it doesn't do you any good. No. He would blow it up here late in the season, and he's just saying, I'm going to put my head down and try to figure this All out. All I know is Bruce Ar if, if Bruce Arians is not there next year, somebody's a coach killer. Uh. No, no, that's all I'm saying. Uh. Yeah, yeah, and Bruce Aaron needs to be on that job. Uh. Well, Tom Brady's about to go try to save Bruce Arians' job. You don't need to save it. He need to, to he need to save his own job. Yeah. Well, how about play better? Mm. Like you said, the details. What can I do better? Okay. You can play better. Okay. You cannot he turn the that. football over. That everything okay, you just nigga. said, he said. Okay. I got to play a lot better. A lot better. Okay. That's the goat talking. Well, I mean, you. Well, <laughs> No matter how much better you play, you can't catch it with old, 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 old goat, little goat, little, little, little tiny goat, my homeboy. Mm. That's over. That ship sailed. You'll never be better than him again. Who was lucky to win one Super Bowl. Skip, that's in year three. He about, he about to follow that thing up. <sighs> mm, okay. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.